Hey guys, it's Amy here and today I have a quite exciting video about a Penguin Classics dinner that I was invited to in London. So not too long ago I was invited by the lovely people at the Penguin Classics UK team to go to London and meet with them and have a meal with a small group of YouTubers who also make book videos. The other bookish people that were invited other than me were Jean from Bookish Thoughts, Sana from Books and Quills, Claire from Reading Bukowski and Jen from Jen Campbell. I will leave links to all of their channels down below and everything that I mentioned today down below as well. We basically just met with a small group of people from the Penguin Classics editorial, marketing, art kind of team and it was just really lovely. We were in a little Parisian type restaurant and we had some wonderful food. We were all in a room together so we were able to just speak about books for as long as we want and it was just a really lovely experience and I'm really grateful that I got the chance to go and do that. As many of you probably know I don't live very close to London so when I do go up to London it's usually for important and just nice things that I'm going to be doing rather than just nipping up now and again because I can because it's very expensive to go to London so it was just really nice to meet some lovely people and have a really lovely time. So stop rambling Amy. Today I have a whole tote bag full of books which they gifted us at the meal. It says Ocean of Books on the back and it is gorgeous. They basically just gave us a selection of lots of different books that they're publishing at the moment and ones that they published before. Things that they thought we might like basically so I'm going to show you those today. To get the ball rolling I'm actually just going to show you five of the little black classics which you've probably all seen that I actually bought before I was even aware that I was going to be going to this. These were all ones that I bought myself that I thought I would be interested in and thankfully I didn't have any duplicates in the bag that they gave me. So firstly I have The Beautiful Cassandra by Jane Austen. We then have A Slip Under the Microscope by H.G. Wells. Cirque and the Cyclops by Homer. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. The Fall of Icarus by Ovid. And The Old Nurse's Story by Elizabeth Gaskell. The five books that I chose for myself that I had either read the author before or had heard really good things and just wasn't sure if I wanted to pick a whole novel up so I thought I'd pick up something smaller to be begin with to see if I enjoyed the writing. Let's move on to the books that I was actually gifted in my tote bag. Firstly we have four more of the Little Black Classics. We have Come Close by Sappho. Our ghastlier story was brought to light by a common or garden butcher's dog by Johan Peter Hebel. How Much Land Does a Man Need by Leo Tolstoy. Finally The Life of a Stupid Man and I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that name. I'll leave them all linked down below if you wish to go and see any of these books. So I'm looking forward to seeing what these books hold. I like that they are little and accessible and just easy to pick up and I'm really looking forward to picking up a few of them over the summer. Plus they look really good on the shelf together. The next book we all received was The World of Sex by Henry Miller and I have never read any Henry Miller so I'm not sure what to expect from this. I'm really looking forward to getting into it and I hope maybe if I really enjoy this I will also carry on and read some more Henry Miller in the future. I wish all books were created in this really tiny format. I think they're all really cute. The next two things I'm really excited for and they are issue one and issue two of The Happy Reader. This is a magazine that Penguin has created and I for one think it is absolutely gorgeous. I think the actual overall design of it is really really nice. I haven't had a chance to read any of these yet but I will share my thoughts with you once I've got a chance to read them. Basically in these magazines the first half concentrates on an interview with a particular author fanatic of Penguin books and the second half goes into a more in-depth kind of critical look at a particular classic novel. And they were describing this to us and what I love about this magazine as well is that it isn't just all about books. They tie in Facebook and Twitter and music and art and all these different things in there as well. It's not just about classical literature, you can pick this up and discover a whole world of new things as well. Next we have three books that I am really really excited for because I think it's definitely something that's up my street. As you all know I am a great lover of Agatha Christie and this next book is about a detective who solves crimes and things. So the three books are by Georgia Simenon and the first is The Grand Banks Cafe. We then have The Misty Harbour and The Madman Bergerac. Firstly I think the covers of these books are absolutely gorgeous. They feel amazing and I just love the photography that has been chosen for them. As each of the books isn't very long I'm really excited to getting into them because I think there are a lot of books in this series. Around 70 I think they said. From what I recall they also mentioned that next year there is going to be some sort of TV series or something made out of them so I'm really looking forward to seeing if I enjoy this because I think it will be something that I can really get into like the Agatha Christie books. You know if you've ever heard of or read any of these books I'd be really interested to see what people enjoy and whether I should pick up any more of any of these books. Next they just gave us the catalogue for the Penguin books which is white and obviously goes along with the Penguin Little Black Classics. This is number 00 which is the first and it is white. I think it's very cute. The next book we were given is Reading Lolita in Tehran which is by a 
Azar Nafisi, and I may have said that wrong. This book basically follows the story of eight women who meet in secret each week to discuss forbidden works of Western literature. As you may have guessed by the title, Lolita is one of those books that they discuss. And from the back, it says The Great Gatsby and Pride and Prejudice is in there as well. Really looking forward to this one. I think it's something I'm really going to enjoy. And they also mentioned that this is the only penguin cover which features a penguin book in the cover. So it's basically like book inception. Penguin, penguin, it's all very cool. Got onto the final two books in the bag and the penultimate book is Bonjour Tristesse by Francois Sejan and I've probably said that wrong. I'll say that for the, all of the books in this video. I've probably said the names wrong. Follows the story of a young girl who lives with her widowed father and one year he decides to remarry which causes devastating things to happen in her life. It follows her as she finds her feet and discovers more about herself and grows as a person. It sounds like something I would really enjoy. This book was actually published in England in the 1950s but all of the explicit sex scenes were taken out. Since then, Penguin has published this edition with all of those sex scenes put back in. So I'm really interested to read this edition and possibly get my hands on the other edition and see how they differ in the reading with those sex scenes put in or taken out. Finally, the last book I have in my bag is The Travels by Marco Polo. I don't really know a lot about Marco Polo. I don't really know a lot about what is obviously involved in this book. I have heard of Marco Polo. I've read one thing that involved Marco Polo and that was Invisible Cities by Italo Calvino. I really enjoyed that book. The basic premise of that book is that it's Marco Polo speaking with the Chinese ruler uh, about all these different places that he's been to. He describes them all in a very fanciful way. It all kind of boils down to the fact that he's probably talking about Venice in each of those stories that he's told. It's very like good and evil, light and dark, heaven and hell kind of thing that goes on in that book. If you've read it then you'll know what I'm talking about and it's really great actually so I would suggest you go and pick it up. That in mind and the fact that I did really enjoy what I have read of Marco Polo's story, I think I will enjoy this and I hope I will. I will give it a go definitely and let you know what I think once I've finished it. Don't they all look so lovely on the shelf together? I'm very impressed that my book ends up managing to hold them all up. So there's one empty tote. I'm really looking forward to using this one and adding it to my tote collection. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to read any of these books. I would love to discuss it with you. As always, I will leave links to Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, everything that I mentioned today down below. I hope you're all having a fantastic day and I will see you soon. Bye! So since my last book haul I have managed to acquire quite a few books. I don't know how this has happened because I said to myself that I wasn't going to buy any more books so that clearly went out of the window.